let's just ride on the Hummingbird Express. Oh, what? If you're a blind mite the size of a pinhead, how do you get from the flower you live in to another one more than a mile away? Simple. You hitch a ride on a hummingbird's beak. How do you do that? There's the tricky part. A mite has to jump at just the right angle to make it into a hummingbird's nose. Use the up and down arrow keys to position your mite and then press the space bar to launch it. What the hell? But what do all these different you don't things need the mouse for this? Just the keyboard. Use the up and down arrows to point your mic where you want it to go. Press the space bar to launch a mic. Oh shit. Okay, I see. This is so weird, so we just like land in the bird's beak. And when's it all over? Oh, I ran out of mites. That's all the mites for this round. Let's see how many made it to the next flower. This is so weird. I can't imagine that much like weird shit living in your nose. I'm good. Goodbye. Don't forget to mite. I've had enough. That was crazy and weird and awesome, but I'm over it. I guess all the monkeys that used to swing through here have to take a detour while a new tree builds itself. Are we not gonna take note of this bug that's over here? Okay. Pigeons. They have pigeons in the rainforest? But without any buildings or statues, where will they live? If they're half as smart as they are noisy, I'm sure they'll think of something. All right. Well, as my old sweetheart used to say, giddy up and head them off at the gap. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's go see the squirrel. There's something squirrely about this mammal. Let's check out the garden where it lives. Here we are in a sunny spot of the rainforest. What better place for a garden party? And the chance to meet lots of fascinating plants and animals. Cool. All right, this is the last time that we get to click and then we'll go ahead and finish up the um, the mission. Miss Frizzle, how come we don't have poisonous spikes and camouflage and claws and all the defenses the other animals have? You already have a defense, Wanda, and it's called your brain. Of course, you have to use it before it does you any good, but I think you're well on your way. What do you need to build a rainforest habitat? Let's find out. Damn, they have so many Your games. That is where it's at. It's where you live, and it's got all the things you need to survive. Can you build a rainforest habitat? Give this forest some heat and rain and see what kind of habitat develops. Click the thermometer to change the temperature. Wait, what just happened? Wait, I wanted to change the temperature. Whoa. What the fuck? Cold. N no rain. Tundra. So what the hell just happened? I don't know how to change the temperature. Cool 
weather and a medium amount of rain all add up to the kind of pine forest you can find in the northeastern USA. Nice. Okay. I feel like I never played this before. What the hell? Green, cool, and wet. It's not mint ice cream, it's a temperate rainforest. Cool, okay. Oh god. Okay, so it just goes from, like, extremely cold to extremely hot. All right. Noise. Lots of rain, warm breezes, lush green trees. It looks like a tropical rainforest to me. Throw in a few thousand species of plants and animals and we're there. Nice, we did it. Okay, let's do a little bit less rain. Eventually one of these I feel is gonna be like a desert, huh? That looks cool. This kind of forest pines for Georgia. Because Georgia, USA, is where you want to be if you're a warm, temperate pine forest. Nice. Okay. And there's our desert. Lots of heat and no rain? You get your just desserts here, because that's what you made. Just a desert. LOL. Okay, well, that was fun. I'm always ready to play Habitat Build, whether or not. <laughs> <laughs> I like Carlos. I feel like he helped me develop my um, fondness of puns. Wait, what's a squirrel doing in the rainforest? Doesn't he belong in another type of forest? species are intercontinental travelers. Besides the squirrels, this rainforest has raccoons, otters, porcupines, skunks, and possums. Cute. Okay. The blue gray tanager is one of the most common birds in the rainforest. But where did it get the name tanager? Tanager was what the Topi tribe of Brazil called this bird. They also gave us the word toucan. Wow! Up close, the passion flower has tiny spots that look like butterfly eggs. Hmm, a heliconia butterfly won't lay her eggs near other eggs. So, these spots must be there to fool her into thinking there are already eggs on the vine. Exactly, Wanda. <laughs> Instead of egging them on, the vine is egging them off. Wow. Arasaris are the smallest cousin in the toucan family. It sure looks like it. Those bigger toucans are shoving it away from the food. Hey, you big birds, go pick on someone your own size. Toucans are big bird bullies. They'll steal fruit from other birds and even kick them out of their nests. About the only thing they have going for them is their look. Lol. That just goes to show you that beauty is only skin deep. Truth. As my Uncle Bartlett used to say, I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, um... Well, it's not really letting me click on anything else. There are lots of tanagers besides the blue-gray tanager. There's also the black and yellow, the blue and gold, the crimson collared, the gray-headed, the silver-throated, and the spangled-cheeked tanagers. What are they trying to do? Describe themselves as rainbows? They certainly are a bright one. Okay, can we please get them away? There are so many creatures to see. They're birds and insects and trees. But here in the forest, I hope jaguars ignore us. Because if they're hungry, it's time to flee. Alrighty. Well, let's see what we need to find.
Welcome, intrepid explorer, to our deluxe bioclonic four-dimensional rainforest toolbox. Brought to you courtesy of the Costa Rican Rainforest and Correctamundo Cloning Corporation. Find this tree's leaf. Strangler, vines, leave it alone, and tree fall gap. Treasure with little friends. I have no idea, dude. Leave it alone? Man, I don't know. Back to our little hole in the forest, also known as the tree fall gap. This is no time to sit. We need more bio clones in our kit. I feel like this said something about leaving something alone while like things are growing. I don't know, dude. Piper. The Crocia tree. The Crocia tree. Urania moth. Tyra. Heliconius butterfly. What kind of stuff can I catch? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, what else can I do? Okay, I don't know what good that did. See there? You bio clones the missing Cecropia. Cool, okay. So what's next? Some places they go might seem to be risky. They're out on a limb where they love to be frisky. Are these the spider monkeys? This is one swinging bunch that likes to branch out. Catch them if you can. These quick critters share their first name with an eight-legged web spinner. I'm spider monkey. Hmm, can it be you'll find these animals in the canopy? This jaguar popped up and I really want him to pop up again because I feel like clicking on him will do something. So I'm just gonna wait till he comes back up. Don't let a tree fall put a gap in our exploration. Just click around. I legit just wanna click on the freaking jaguar, but he won't come up. So that's all I'm waiting for at this time. Okay, you know what, whatever. Let's just go up to the canopy. You want to take this outside? Well, all right then. Catch that breeze, class. Check out this bird's eye view of the rainforest as we check out the canopy. Right on the monkey. You cloned our missing spider monkey. Everybody does it, and it's every animal's way of giving something back to the environment. It may be yucky to some, but for the rainforest, it's a fertilizing feat. The sloth ate lunch and left a treasure behind. Go ahead, bioclone it in the rainforest. You may think it's not much, but some tree is happy for the donation. You might not want to step in this fertile pile, but you can bio-clone it in the understory. Okay, so we're looking for sloth poop, apparently. Outside it is. 
We're almost done. Okay, where's the sloth poop? There it is, I found it. Here's the scoop. You found our missing clone of sloth poop. That's so weird that we're taking sloth poop and putting it inside a toolbox. When the moon is high in the sky and it's night, lots of animals come out to play. One of them would be a spectacular addition to your rainforest toolbox. I can't wait to go back there. Let's go find that last bit of the rainforest we need to bioclone. That's so cool. Oh shit. Just one more bioclone and our toolbox is complete. Who could it be who hunts by night and sleeps by day? Who will be the one to find it for the rainforest toolbox? Will it be you? Well, I guess it's an owl. This winged predator is a hoot, and she sometimes makes a spectacle of herself. Owl, tell you what, this is some owl. Really? I would have been able to figure that out for myself. I just don't know where the fuck the owl is. Well, wait, hold on. When we were playing that, like, nighttime habitat game, there was an angry owl always upstairs in the canopy. As I always say, there's no better way to take a look around than being outward bound. And while you're at it, keep your eyes peeled for bioclones for the rainforest toolbox. Catch that breeze, class. Check out this bird's eye view of the rainforest as we check out the canopy. I'm pretty sure the owl is here somewhere. If you want to follow the iguana, we'll learn more about the creatures of the canopy. I feel like I remember the owl being in the canopy. Because it got pissed off any time we tried to put, like, anything else there. Now let's get the word on the bird and the other creatures of the canopy. I don't know. Just one more bioclone and our... I don't know where the fuck the owl is. Back it is to see all we can see in the canopy. <laughs> this is a mantled howler monkey. Like all animals in the rainforest, she is really something to howl about. I don't know where it is. Here we are, class, amongst the menagerie of plants and animals in this tiny slice of the canopy. Watch your step, or you'll be walking on air. We're really up there. I don't know where the hell the owl is. Clone and our toolbox is complete. See how your cursor just turned into a question mark? Use that question. With the question mark, click another item to get more help. I don't know where to find the owl. Could it be maybe it's in the understory? Go outside. I don't know where else the owl would be, really. All right, class, let's take it to the bridge, or at least to the river. Nope. Just... Nope. Let the river roll, class. 
it's time for another look at the understory. I really wish Miss Frizzle would relax. There's the owl, found it. Just one more bio clone and our toolbox is complete. Oh no, we disturbed the poor owl. Good for you, you never threw in the towel. Now we have our clone of a spectacled owl. When it comes to finding bio clones, you certainly stand alone. Now, if you want to see a real jewel, head back to the school. My classroom, that is. Yay! Awesome. Nice! This is so cool! It looks great! Oh my. Cool! This place is wilder than the zoo! Wow! These plants aren't just food for all these animals. They're homes, too! Oh. Are wild. It's raining in here, but at least it's not raining cats and dogs, or jaguars and coyotes. Whoa. This is so cool, though. Camouflage is like a costume that makes you blend in with your surroundings. I wouldn't mind a costume like that for our next game of hide and seek. <laughs> Zowie! Insects everywhere in a jillion shapes and colors. Wow! When a tree falls, it lets in sunlight, which helps little trees grow into big trees. The rainforest repairs itself, just like my skin does when I get a cut. See that flaw? It lives in the trees, and it eats the tree's leaves. And then its poop helps the tree grow new leaves. Everything is connected to everything else. Does anyone else think there's something fishy going on here? <laughs> Aww, okay, well with that sloth smile, it's time for me to say bye. I'm gonna try to put on credits, but if I can't, then I'll just say bye now. Thank you so much for playing along with me and checking this out. Hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this wild ride. Um, I know that I did, and then stay tuned for next time. Thanks, bye.